Hello, thank you for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name is Chris. I've been professionally building koi ponds now for over 25 years, and I put together this channel for you guys um, doing a whole mess of videos on all different topics when it comes to um, koi ponds, water gardens, waterfalls, pond filtration, fish, aquatic plants, the whole bit. I have well over a hundred videos here for you guys on so many different topics pertaining to ponds that I hope you will be able to find something that can help you out and answer your questions. Um, if you take some time, subscribe to the channel, take a look around, um, use the playlists um, here in the channel because I have all my videos broken down into different playlists to help you find what you're looking for and navigate your way around a little bit. So again, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos and you know subscribe to the channel. Today's video, we are looking at um, talking about pond lighting, okay? You know, lighting up your pond. Um, I have <laughs> a lot of experience, you know, over the years with seeing many different ponds with, with lighting in them. Um, I will say up front that I am not a professional um, outdoor lighting, you know, electrician, all right? I am simply a landscaper that specializes in building koi ponds, okay? But like I said, over the years, I have run into so many people and so many clients that have ponds that have lights in them. Um, so I can give you a pretty good um, idea of, you know, what it's all about and different ideas of how to light it and why and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do here today. Um, so <laughs> I'm starting off saying that, you know, I am not a professional lighting, outdoor lighting guy. Um, I also would like to tell you just up front that when it comes to putting lights in your koi pond, I am not a fan. All right. Just me personally, I don't like putting lights in the water of the pond. All right. Um, main reason being, I feel that it's not a pool. It's a pond. It's a more natural environment. All right. A swimming pool, put lights in it. You have a jacuzzi, a hot tub, you want lights, put lights in it. But a pond, just to me, I don't know. Now, there are, there are some instances where the lighting in the water can look nice when it's done kind of soft and subtly, um, lighting up some rocks, maybe up lighting a waterfall, things like that, that definitely are nice. The issue is, the reason why I don't like lighting in the water, okay? Um, <laughs> basically, one, like I said, it's not a pool. Two, it just seems that everywhere I go and people have lights in their pond, most of the time they don't work. The percentage of clients that I run into that have lights in their water that work is extremely small compared to the percentage of people that have lights in their pond that don't work. So, so often, I get the question from the customer, can you fix my lights when you're here, while you're here? <laughs> uh, I, I gotta tell you, I hate it, okay? Reason being, it's so frustrating. All right, number one, you probably have to go in the pond to get the light out. All right, uh, sometimes the cords are buried under rocks and boulders or whatever, and you gotta go in down there to get the light out. Maybe it's draining the pond down so far so you can get in and get the light, all right? Um, and vice versa, you gotta put the new light down in there and hide the cords and all that, okay? <clears throat> now, the other issue is lights that are in the pond over time will get dirty. They'll get that dirty green slime coat, dirt, you know, mud, slimy coating on them, and then the light doesn't shine through them, and then they have to be cleaned, all right? So there's definitely some maintenance issues that go into that. Um, but my real problem is, if I have clients that say, oh, you know, three of my lights don't work, okay, 
what are the chances that I'm actually going to find a store nearby that has those same exact lights? Not very good. All right. Now, when I go to the store and I buy something else maybe similar and I bring it back, these are the issues I've run into. Um, I get the light down in the pond and I'm running the cord out. The cord isn't long enough to reach to the transformer. Or I get it to the transformer and the connections that connect it, you know, to the transformer or to another light fixture or whatever are different. And it doesn't work. All right. So it becomes a real headache, a real nightmare to, to put all this stuff together. So for that reason, I hate it. All right. I mean, I, I don't want to spend a day driving all over creation, trying to find lights and, and get it in there and get it in the pond and hook them all and then they don't work. They don't, they don't match up. Sorry, I just, I hate this stuff. I just don't want to get involved. All right. Um, <clears throat> my best advice to you is if you want lighting in your pond to hire a professional outdoor lighting guy who can get you really nice high quality fixtures that you know will last he can hook them wire them all up properly and hopefully be around to maintain them or you know help fix them if you ever have an issue okay i'm not the guy for that all right i i got too much other stuff going on it, it's just it's it's a headache it's a real pain um I'm a believer in um, the saying, you get what you pay for. So if you go out to the store, you buy a little $69.99 light off, you know, or whatever, you order some little lights off Amazon, you throw them, you know, and, and you know, in a year's time, they're not working. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, all right? As opposed to hiring a professional, yeah, you're going to pay more money, but you know what? Like I'm saying, these things don't last forever, and, and they can be a real nightmare otherwise. So it, it might be worth investing some money into hiring a professional to put in nice lighting fixtures in for you, um, and he can maintain it and take care of it for you if you ever have any issues, all right? Um, so <clears throat> that being said, um, like I said, I don't like putting lights in the water to light the water. It's just me, okay? I mean, it's just my own opinion. It's my, it's just me. Um, like I said, to me, that's more like a pool than a pond. I do like lighting around the pond, but I like the lighting outside the pond. I like doing nice, soft, subtle lights on the plantings, the landscaping around the pond, uplighting trees, and seeing that nice reflection of the tree in the water. To me, that's really nice, okay? Um, maybe a soft floodlight on the waterfall to light the waterfall. Great, okay? Um, soft landscape lights around the pond, beautiful, okay? Um, also incorporate, you know, the landscape, the patio area and stuff around it so everything kind of blends in. Now having um, new, these newer lights, um, they are pretty cool because they are LED, okay? And these LED lights, such as this one here, um, are uh, able to change colors, okay? This one comes with a little remote control thing here, you can turn it on and off. Um, you can change the colors, you can make it stay one color, you can make it rotate through colors as it is right now. Um, you can um, set the speed that it changes its colors in and stuff like this. So there's a lot of cool little effects and things you can do. Um, but like I said, you know, I just, I'm a little leery about how long these lights are going to last in, in your pond. Um, you know, it's like a lot of pond equipment. You can go to the little garden center, Home Depot, whatever, and buy, you know, what I kind of call the consumer, um, you know, the homeowner product, 
or you can go and buy a professional product, okay? To me, these are homeowner kind of products. You know, go to the store, buy them, connect them, throw them in your pond. Um, whereas a professional will put in some really nice fixtures. Um, so a little bit, little bit different, okay? Now this particular lighting here, like I said, does come, this is um, a company called Pond Max, okay? Um, this comes with a little um, power supply here, and the, and the light simply connects to it. Now, what's kind of cool about this one is you can get another light. You don't have to buy the power supply, you can just buy another light, and the cord from the other light simply connects to this light and then you can connect another light to that light. Now obviously there is a limit as to how many lights you can connect together, um, but it kind of makes it pretty easy. The trick is, you know, there's different transformers. The different transformers allow different amount of lights to be hooked to it. So you gotta, you know, we'll find out about all that stuff so it all works properly. Now, for the outdoor lighting, okay, for the lights around your pond, um, you know, up lighting trees, all that. Those are LED as well. And basically you can get them in two different colors of light. Uh, one is a softer, more yellow light, and the other is a bright, stark white light, okay? Again, personal preference, right? Whichever you like best. Me, personally, I like the softer yellow light. I like the, it's not yellow, but it's just a softer light. It's not like white, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's a nice, soft, gentle lighting on the landscape. So um, definitely, that's what I like the best. So, you know, again, there's a lot of different issues that go into, you know, lighting in the pond. There's a million different fixtures out there. Again, trust somebody who's a professional who can <laughs> give you the best advice, give you high quality fixtures that are going to last a long time and be there if you need help with them. Okay. Um, now, <clears throat> I want to show you a picture of this pond here behind me. Now, I built this pond probably seven, eight years ago now, and this is a monster pond. This is beautiful. It's uh, about 40 by 50 feet, um, and it has a massive waterfall. It has two pumps on these waterfalls that are pumping um, almost 13,000 gallons an hour each, and so there is a big cascade of water. As I was building this pond, there was a pool company um, there on the property doing some work as well. And one of the guys there has a lighting business on the side. He does all outdoor landscape lighting on the side. So once we finished building this pond, um, or actually when I was building the pond, he came up to me and we were talking about different things because he knew that the homeowner wanted to put lights on it. And he gave me these two fixtures, which are pretty cool. Um, they were for a pool, basically, but what they are is they were round fixtures, and they had an LED light around the outside, and it had a pipe, like a fountain jet, in the middle. And basically what happens is it creates like this gusher, this geyser, out of the center with the lighting around it, so it lights up all the water as it's gushing over the top. Um, we took two of these and we put one on either side of the waterfall. Um, one of them was in a beach area. Um, actually, if you're looking at the picture, the one on this side here, um, when I put the picture up, you'll see it's a geyser here up on, out of a um, little rocky beach I have on the pond. And the one on this side is actually um, in the top of a little like waterfall riverbed stream that comes down the side. Um, now they were pretty cool, they're LED, and they fluctuate through colors, okay? So the colors of this geyser go from a purple to a pink to a red to, you know, uh, orange kind of colors, um, yellow, kind of really cool, they stand out. Now all the lighting on the waterfall itself is ice blue. Um, and when the guy told me he's going to light it all up in, you know, ice blue, I was like, really? Like, blue? 
you know, like I got the little things on the side in colors. I said, that could be cool. I'm picturing the waterfall all lit up in a nice lighting, you know, white lighting with, you know, the colored geysers coming out of the side. And I'm thinking, that's going to look really cool. And then he told me he's doing it in blue. So I'm like, okay, well, hey, whatever, whatever the homeowner wants. It sounds kind of cool, be interesting. I'd like to see it, right? So they did it, and this is what it came out to. And this is awesome. I mean, it was awesome. Really, really cool. Again, like this was professionally done. So there's, you know, there's probably, you know, at least six, eight fixtures, lights in here, maybe a few more um, lighting up this area. But you can see the two colored geysers coming up on the sides and um, the trees are uplit too. So you can still see the reflection of the trees in the water with that whole waterfall lit up. Um, that's what I like. I don't want lights in the pond. Um, it's not a pool. This is their pool. Okay, it's got all these fountain jets and colors coming out um, <laughs> and the whole bit. But, you know, here's the pool. Here's the pond. Okay, yeah, I like the natural look of that pond being a pond and not trying to make the pond a pool. Um, but anyway, again, personal preference, but I just wanted to kind of give you some um, ideas, some insights. Um, I, yeah, so like I said, um, a lot of it's based on your own preferences. I kind of pointed out some negative things about putting lights in your pond as far as cleaning them and getting them dirty and stuff like this. Um, lighting is very easy to, it's very alluring, let me say, right? The concept, the idea of putting lights into your pond is like, wow, that's really cool. Like, I want to do that. But in reality, just realize there's a lot of maintenance to it. They don't always last long. Um, you know, some of these, you know, things we talked about here. Um, but it's your pond, so it's up to you. You know, if uh, you don't mind having these cables and wires coming out of your pond all over the place, right? You got to try to hide them, try to whatever. Okay, it's all obviously. It's all you know um, possibility. I mean, it can be done, and it can be done and look really nice. But you know, there are some issues with it. It's not something you're going to set up once and never have to worry about, for the most part. All right, so. That's my little spiel on <laughs> pond lighting and lighting your pond. Um, you know, I, I just have a lot of uh, clients that I've done stuff with just nice um, low voltage landscape lighting around the pond, a little spot on the waterfall here and there. And it's really a nice subtle effect. It lights up the area nice. You can continue it around your patio or sidewalk. Um, you know, uplight some trees, see that reflection of those trees in the water at night. Um, you will see your fish. Okay, I think a big misconcept is, you know, if I don't put water lights in my water, I, I won't be able to see the fish. Well, that's kind of true if you have um, fish that are, you know, dark colors. Um, but a, a nicely lit area around your pond and light your waterfall with the dark water, with some nice white um, butterfly koi, they will look like angels swimming around in the water. You will see them. Um, you know, red and white uh, kahaku koi, you will see. You will see the yellows, the golds, right, the whites. Um, and it's, it's very cool to just see those fish kind of lurking around, um, you know, with soft lighting over. Um, so it doesn't have to be, wow, you know, lit up. Um, you you will see the fish. You can sit out at night and enjoy it, and uh, you know, just be nice and and relaxed and cool, calming environment. All right. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope uh, you know it helped you out a little bit. You know, please hit the like button. Um, also, just more really quick, um, solar lights. Again, nice concept, it's not a fan. They just don't seem to last very long. Um, I don't know, just at least my experience too, I see people with these little lights with the little solar panel things and, and half of them are not working, to whatever. Um, <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there too. Get nice lighting if you're gonna do it, okay? 
Um, anyway, thanks for watching. You know, subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button. Hopefully, we'll see you back again soon in another video. So have a great day. Take care. We'll see you again. Bye.